Now let me show you one final trick here in this basic freehand masking lesson, and that's how to increase the contrast selectively of a mask using the brush tool in overlay mode. Now that sounds a bit abstract right now, but let me just revert that to the original state here and zoom out. And um, I'm going to do this using some of the slices again that we have here. And I would like to apply this to the clouds. And you see, if I go to these through these slices, they become incrementally brighter. And I would like to combine the first four here to get a nice um, mask of our clouds in this image. I need to switch to the RGB channel here. And then I'm going to apply a levels adjustment once more, but that's not really important right now. What's important is I'm going to show you um, what we're going to do here. And we're going to um, look at the sky and brighten that sky where it's already bright, and we're going to darken it where it's already darkened, uh, where it's already dark. So we're going to increase the overall contrast here. And I'm going to zoom in here so that you see the work a bit better. And the way I'm going to do this is I have the mask view active and I have the mask selected, and I'm picking the overlay blending mode for the brush that I'm using. Flow value of 6% is still okay. And what is happening now is when I'm painting with white, the bright parts are going to, be, uh, to become brighter, while the dark parts are going to remain dark. So the brighter a pixel in the mask is, the more it's going to be affected by my brush strokes now. And uh, the other way around, when I paint with black, the darker pixels are going to be darkened, while the brighter pixels are going to remain bright. And that is a very nice way of increasing the contrast of a mask. In this um, case, I would like to select um, all those clouds to be able to work on them. But right now, on the, on the left side, we have a nice strong selection here, or a nice uh, white mask. On the right side, it's very dark. So I'm going to change that now with my brush strokes. Going to increase the size here a little bit. And I'm going to paint with white, and you can see that that brings out those those um, lighter clouds very nicely here on the right side. And if I switch to black as a foreground color, you can see that when I paint on that left side, it really only affects the areas between the clouds and not the clouds themselves. And in this way, you can really build your mask, even if, if it's not ideal uh, in the first place, and you in, can increase the contrast here. For example, if you're using luminosity masks and you're starting with a channel that is not perfect for the selection or the mask that you're trying to create, you can work on, on the mask with that trick and really hide all the areas that you don't need and bring out all the other areas that you want to have in your in your mask. And you can do this until you're happy. Let me darken some of those parts here on the right side again. And you can see that we now have a very nice mask of only the, the uh, clouds. And let me show you um, what this looked like before. Just to show you, this was the original mask that I created from the slices. And this is the mask with the increased contrast. Just by switching from a normal blending mode for my brush to overlay, I was able to achieve this by incrementally brushing with black and white until I had a nice selection with a nice contrast over, over the entire area that I'm trying to work on.